I am Sarah Irving and I'm from Portland, Oregon. How long have you been at EXP? I have been with EXP just over six months now. Where'd you come from? I have worked at several real estate companies, but for the past 10 years, I've owned an in independent real estate company and brokerage with myself and I've had a few other people on my team. Why did you move? I moved over to EXP because I was looking for a different type of energy and then also for that motivation and for a reason to wake up in the morning. So it's been a really good fit for me. I'm someone who's motivated by helping and assisting others. And so to know that there's a meeting every day and that people are kind of rallying me on has made a big difference on my perspective. It's kind of like you have advocates for you, but also you have accountability partners, which at the end of the day is something I think we all need. So um, it's been a really good fit for me. Where did you hear about EXP? Well, I have heard about EXP from many people as long as a year ago. I actually received a call from Matthew Stewart, who was the sixth person to interview me. And as soon as I talked to Matt, um, he helped answer those questions that maybe I didn't have a full understanding of, but he had a different level of charisma and intake on the company itself, which provided a whole new outlook on what EXP is and where it's going. I also had some preconceived notions about the company and those were dispelled rather quickly. And Matt has an energetic personality and so it was a pretty easy decision for me. What do you love most about EXP so far? So EXP has a unique take and look out in that it is like a family, but also since everyone is an individual owner of the company, it has this level of giving and wanting to see everyone else successful. There's so many positive things that go into that, that you will never feel alone or like you don't have a place at this company. It's more of that family atmosphere and really has you attract into the company itself and the people, but also you can get in, as involved as you want, or if you want to take a seat back for a little while, you can do that too, which is nice. Three words to describe Matthew's group. Matthew's group is very welcoming, has a strong commitment to helping others at EXP in general, and then to allow your business growth to as much as you want, to as little as you want. And then at the end of the day, accepting. I would say we're all different. We're all at different levels in our career and in life. And it doesn't matter if you're brand new to the company or you've been in the industry forever. This team and this group has something that can be given to everyone um, and has the ability to make you a better person, but then also a better realtor as well. What are you looking forward to the most about EXPCon? So with EXPCon, I was looking to mainly network and then also learn about all of those things that because I am newer to AXP, but I've been in the industry a long time, that I haven't necessarily had resources to or touched yet. Um, so. It's been an excellent um, opportunity. And then obviously, if you want to do classes um, and kind of do the learning side of it as well, it's been a good resource. It's been a really exciting time for me and everyone else around me too. And what are you looking forward to with the XP coming up for your business? My business right now is all about growth in systems to create a business that's almost impossible to not be successful. So by creating those systems and networks, I'm the type of person that likes intrinsic value. So by you know meeting all the wonderful people that I've met and learning each individual person and what they have to help me and then also for me to give back to them. So right now my business is in a major growth point. And I'm looking forward to 
learning those things that maybe as a younger agent, I didn't have the opportunity to learn. Anything else you want to share? So I would say there's something that Matt says to me all the time when it comes to recruiting. And the biggest thing is taking a step back and taking off your kind of ego hat and understand what EXP is about. Also, I think a lot of times people think that maybe EXP might be too good to be true. But once you're here, it it is exactly what you expected it to be, plus more. I feel like when you join EXP, you have that knowledge of what you think it's going to be. And then when you actually join, all of those little things that you would ever hoped for a company kind of start coming out. And it's a much um, healthier and way of doing business than I think a lot of realtors do on a daily basis. So, and then Matt's group in general, um, you know, I think a lot of the people that join Matt's group follow who Matt is as a professional because that's who he attracts. And so if you're somebody that's talking to Matt, trust me, you're in the right seat at the right time. And if you feel connection to him, you're going to feel a connection with everyone else on the team as well. So I think that's the, that's the thing that I would say is most important. So as a past broker owner for 10 years, you learn as you go that it's a lot of responsibility for yourself, for your family, but also for your business. And so as you go, I mean, after 10 years, I had it all settled and I had my ways of doing things, but I always felt like I could do something better. And long-term, you always wonder what else is out there. Um, as somebody who likes to learn about brokerages and is pro-brokerage, looking at EXP and having the ability to take some of that pressure and relief off, I'm still able, I personally feel like I'm still able to have my own brokerage under the EXP umbrella, but then I get all of those extra things that maybe I wouldn't have had access to, whether it's just high level independent individuals or things, resources like KV Core. There's so many things that my brokerage would have never had an opportunity to have here at EXP. And it's nice to just have someone else do the internal work for me and I can go out and get business. And I'm not just getting business today and living contract to contract. My goal is long-term to have a plan for myself, my business, and then to retire long-term. So it's just a different way of looking at things. Um, but it was a big decision. I'm not going to say it wasn't a big decision because you're your own brokerage. You've created a lot on your own. But at this point, I would never go back. And I've only been here six months, so I've made a good decision so far. And if it's only just one meeting or one person or those things that I didn't have uh, before, it's made a huge difference. I mean, how I do my business every day. It's just made a gigantic difference to me. So the other thing is you can go to EXP and if you don't like it, you don't have to stay, which is kind of awesome too. So when you're recruiting an individual agent, you're bringing them on for yourself. And that puts a lot of pressure on you, especially as a new agent. The only resource they have is you. Whereas if you are actually recruiting for EXP, it's a different level of responsibility because you have all of these people that are willing to help you and not just people, but high level individuals that truly do care. And the atmosphere at EXP is we're all in this together. So if someone helps you, it's also helping them. And so it's a different culture. And my goal long-term at EXP is to not only have a team and be on the team with Matt, but also to build my own team within the Portland Metro kind of Pacific Northwest area so that I can also be a leader for those people, whether it's they just wanna learn or they, they wanna feel like they're a part of a bigger team, but they also can run their own brokerage, like they can run their own business and don't feel like 
if they want to be involved, they can be. If not, then they don't have to.